Hello everyone, I'm Catharsis, and welcome to the first of a series of five-minute tutorials featuring Ark Survival Evolved. Now, today we're going to focus on irrigation as our very first video, and we'll jump right into it. Now, uh, irrigation serves a couple of useful purposes in the game. Uh, number one, you, so water is, an, uh, is a requirement for survival, and sometimes your, your base will be placed in an area where water isn't readily available. As you start the game, you start on the beach, and the water's right there, and it's pretty easy to get it. But sometimes you make a base that's up on the side of a mountain, and you still want to be able to get water up there um, without having to constantly come down to the beach to get it. So you can use irrigation to run water up there, but it's also used for farming, and you need it to uh, irrigate your crops in order to help keep them uh, hydrated so they don't die. So in order to set up your irrigation, you do need a couple of simple pieces. First and foremost, you need, uh, you need an intake pipe that's going to go into the water, and will give you the ability to draw the water out of whatever the water source is. Then you need piping that will take it from point A to point B, wherever that, that need happens to be. And then lastly, you're going to need some sort of a tap that allows the water to come back out again. So starting off initially, you want to place the, uh, place the intake pipe directly into the water. This, this pipe has to be directly in the water or it, it ultimately won't work. Um, you may find it more simple to start at your destination where you want to uh, where you want them to go from and and work backwards to get to the to the water source depending on what your layout is like um, but you can also start directly from the water so you're going to place your intake pipe directly in the water and you can see that it's that it's uh, it's working correctly because the pipe will turn blue now one of the hardest parts in setting up all the irrigation pieces is that you don't want your your irrigation pipes to clip through the ground uh, because that could interrupt the water flow and you also, um, you know, it's, it can be a little bit challenging sometimes to get them on exactly the right line, which is why I suggested that sometimes you may want to start with your destination and work back towards the source water. In this case here, we're working on the on a beach, and this pipe here, if I were to I were to add a, a straight extension on it, so I believe that's uh, this pipe here. You can see how it clips directly into the ground, and then you can't ultimately place it there. Instead, you have these incline pipes that you can add. So we're going to place uh, an incline pipe here as our second pipe. And again, sometimes it can be a little tricky to get it to to get it to snap to the right place. But this will lift the pipe up out of the water and above the landmark, so that um, so that we can get the pipe going out. And then it's just a simple matter of adding pipes. Uh, whoops, we don't want to go up that high. Uh, simple matter of adding additional pipes onto the uh, the irrigation pipeline in order to carry the water from uh, from the source to the place where you want the water to be. So you can add a cross uh, a cross split. And this will let you split your incoming water source and take it to different places. But in the end, when you receive, when you get to the point of arrival where you want your water to be, you then need to add in your tap right on the end of your uh, of your irrigation. That tap will immediately start to flow water out of it, and that will provide you with um, immediate access to water for your crops. Now, generally speaking, this um, the water that's coming out of the tap will irrigate a plot that's two, sometimes three places away from where the water is placed. So if you if you work strategically enough and get this placed in the middle of your farming crop, then you can actually have this one tap irrigate a whole bunch. If for some reason you don't, then it is a simple matter of just adding additional pipes onto the end and uh, and you can make the, the pipe go out farther. Now, if for some reason you do find that you need to uh, rework your water piping. You don't have to break everything in order to make it, in order to make a change. You can simply go to the pipe that you need to change and demolish it. And the remaining pipes will stay in place, but you can see they're no longer connected to the source of the water, and therefore the water is no longer flowing. And they've turned back to more like a stone color, whereas these pipes are blue, showing that they are correctly connected. If you want to fill up a water container, so let's say, for example, we have uh, one of these irrigation pipes going up to the top of our, uh, our base at the top of that uh, the cliff over there, uh, if you want to refill your, your water, you just uh, press um, uh, press X to access the, the inventory on the container. Place your water jar inside. Use the water jar, it will fill it, and then you just restore, turn it back to your inventory. If you just need a drink of water because you're getting low on water, you can just walk up and hit Y and you'll drink from the water as well. Very simple, very easy. Um, it is a little bit tricky sometimes getting the proper placement so that everything works out exactly the way you plan it. Uh, however, um, it is relatively straightforward. Just, again, make sure you have your water intake pipe in the water directly. Um, you can run pipes straight up off of this, or you can do an incline. Carry the water to where you want it to go, and make sure you have a tap at the end piece. Now, if you do find that the configuration of your base changes, and you need to place walls where there were no walls before, or you need to rework something, don't feel as though you have to completely rework all of your plumbing as well in order to, to, to change your irrigation arrangement. You can actually place walls directly on this pipe, 
and the the the, uh, the pipe will pass, simply pass straight through the wall, allowing you to continue on with uh, with however your structure is already set up, and you can expand as required. That's pretty much it for this quick tutorial. I hope you enjoy this and that you'll check out some more of the videos. Uh, I do have another video as well on uh, that I've, I've linked here as well. That's a tutorial for the farming. If you were looking for uh, adding farming onto your irrigation once you have your irrigation in place, uh, simply check out that video. I, once again, I'm Catharsis, and I will see all of you next time.